Volkswagen Wolfsburg facility is the headquarters of Volkswagen and serves as a production site for the new Golf, Golf Plus, Turan and Tiguan. The Wolfsburg press shop processes some 1,500 tonnes of sheet metal a day. Unrolled and stamped into blanks, the sheet metal is transported to the press lines. Special cranes place rolls of raw steel into giant cutting machines. The first step of production is to turn raw materials into components. Unprocessed steel is taken and the shape of doors, hood, trunk and wings are formulated from them. Huge pressing machines must produce more than five body parts per second. This pressing shop serves not only the Wolfsburg plant itself, but also the entire concern of the VAG group. Here, large capacity vacuum presses force up to 6,000 tons of pressure to achieve the desired shape. For the production of various parts, it is necessary to change the shape in the presses. New technological processes are designed to reduce the time of changing stamps. There are doors on both sides of the pressing conveyor. The changeable stamp is on flights. The doors open, the old stamp is taken away, and the replacement one leaves on flights. Stamps are changed in a matter of minutes, which does not slow down the production of the car. In this way, the presses work almost around the clock. Pressing lines are gigantic, fast-moving, noisy machines. From ground level here of the actual tools, each of these tools and slider trays is over 25 feet in length and about 8, 9 feet in height. When a tool needs to be changed, it takes only 10 minutes. The sheet metal is fed into the Schuler press, extracted and then trimmed and finished to take any rough edges out of the piece all in the machine, all at a rate of more than 450,000 formed sheet metal parts per day. From there, they are stacked vertically on carts and taken over to the welding area where they will be attached to the floor plan and roof supports. Body Shop The work of the German car factory in Wolfsburg is based on assembly lines equipped with 6,000 robots. These are super smart robots worth at least $100 million each. The fully automated production islands, where robots assemble the pressed parts into individual assemblies. These modules are integrated into the assembly lines through various processes. More than 4,000 spot welds, laser weld seams and bonding and coal joining technology give each golf body its high rigidity and strength. The orange robots are performing spot welds to a golf. The area is where laser welding takes place. The next task of the factory is to assemble all the parts of the car as quickly as possible. Body parts travel about one kilometer to the welding shops, where several thousand robots circle the assembly lines in a single dance every day. Each car consists of approximately 10,000 parts, so assembling one car is a titanic task, even for high-tech several thousand robots. This is a complex system programmed and debugged to the last detail. Each individual part must be mounted not only in the right place, but also in the right order. 
and this giant automated assembly line is one of the fastest. It is the result of an unusual development of engineering. Assembly lines are the absolute basis of the idea of mass production of cars. They allow you to break down the production process into a number of separate stages. Robots work in turns, constantly collecting the product as quickly, efficiently and economically as possible. In each of their joints is a stepper motor. It rotates discreetly in small steps so the robotic arm can stop in a certain position without brakes and without clutch. The software for the onboard computers that control the robots took more than a year to develop, but it allowed them to move in six axes, just one axis less than a human hand. They can spot weld, cut or glue with unparalleled precision. Robots flawlessly cope with monotonous work 24-7. Assembly line computers break the assembly lines into separate stages that take place at different stations, about 20 feet apart. After installing the chassis, the roof, doors and hood are attached to the car. An average of one minute is used per assembly line operation. This means that one part is installed at one stage. The parts must be in place at the specified moment for the robot to install them in time. A monorail system is installed on the roof of the factory, which is capable of delivering hundreds of parts per hour. Hermetic Paint Shop at the Wolfsburg plant, there is a stage of the production process in which not a single person is involved. At the stage of painting, poisonous fumes are released, but they are harmless to the work. In the paint shop, special robots first immerse the body in a vat of electrically charged primer, which uses negative charges to adhere the paint to all parts of the car to ensure absolute coverage of all exposed metal. All metal joints are then sealed along the seams and bends, and thermoplastic soundproofing materials are inserted to absorb noise. In addition to paint and galvanization, the bottom seal protects against possible further damage in the form of stones and corrosion. After the filler coat and the pigmented coat, a clear finish is applied as the final protective layer. This coat alone is what gives the required glossy finish you see in the showroom. All finishing works are done by robots. The sprayed paint is transferred in an electrostatic field to the body with low losses in the process and adheres to the metal. After the paint is applied, additional internal corrosion precautions are taken using Volkswagen's patented hot wax cavity filling process. This protective agent is used on all models. In final assembly, the painted bodies are completed in accordance with customer orders. A Golf, for example, consists of 31 main modules and 54 sub-modules. Assembly consequently requires highly organized work processes and standardized interfaces. Thus, dashboard and front end, the entire running gear with engine, gearbox and exhaust system are pre-assembled in parallel in sequence controlled production, tested and installed as complete modules. While the doors are removed, the dashboard, seats, carpet and full interior components can be installed. This modular construction process accelerates production and makes it more economical. The most difficult process in the production of a car is the assembly of the power unit. It takes a whole battalion of highly skilled workers to assemble the engine, clutch, gearbox and drive shaft into a single mechanism. 
There is a separate assembly line for the power unit, which must be perfectly coordinated with the body of the body in which it will be installed. This is a high-risk process. The delivery must take place at an absolutely precise moment. There is no room for error here, because each car has its own unique power unit, and it must come to the line at the exact time of the assembly process. The problem is further complicated by the fact that the body and the power unit are assembled on different floors at the Wolfsburg plant. The power unit is assembled directly below the body assembly line, one floor below another production level. Here, the engine, gearbox, exhaust pipe, axles and brake lines are assembled into a single mechanism. For each step of the assembly, the exact time required for its execution is provided. The moment of joining the chassis and the car body is called a wedding. At the precise moment, the robotic arm lifts the power unit through the hatch in the floor. Then, when the body shell, into which the power unit must be installed, arrives at the site, the hoist lifts the power unit from the first floor and installs it directly into the car body shell. A wedding is a process when a finished car is finally created. A successfully held wedding could be called a miracle of engineering and logistics if only one car model was produced at the Wolfsburg plant. This plant manufactures various models and specifications of cars. One of the unique features of this plant is that different models of cars can be assembled on the same production line. At the Wolfsburg plant, six, seven different car models are made, and they all come off the same assembly line. All chassis may look the same, but when each one hits the assembly line, a scanner reads a small tag attached to the bottom of the chassis, called a Radio Frequency Identification Tag, or ARFD. This label stores all the necessary information for the assembly of the car, the model, the specified set of parts, and even the color. It's very similar to a barcode, but these chips are more complex. Body Tracking System, or ARFD, at every stage allows you to know what model it is, what specifications and assemblies. The information stored in the ARFD allows robots to be programmed to assemble different models one by one. In total, there are four assembly lines at the Wolfsburg plant. Not only Volkswagen Golf, VW Tiguan and Turan are gathered here, but also non-Volkswagen cars, such as Seat and Audi, are gathered here. The wheels are installed on a VW Golf. Wheels and tires arrive on the assembly line mounted, balanced and ready to install. Even more impressive are the conveyors that deliver the right type of wheel and tire for a specific model exactly when it is needed for installation. In addition to robotics, the Wolfsburg plant employs about 60,000 workers.
The function and precise interaction of all assembled parts and modules are then tested. This also involves a test run on the dynamometer, a drive over a special jolting section to test for creaks and rattles, and a waterproofing test in a sealed high-pressure spray cabin. After this, the work is done. The vehicle is taken to the train yard or to waiting delivery trucks for local dealers.